<clears throat> Hi, it's Billy here from Hippie Mama Artisan Soap. Tonight I'm making um, rose and clay soap. I've got here 2.7 kilos of oil and I've added two teaspoons of Australian pink clay and two tablespoons of uh, kaolin clay. I've got rose Victorian fragrance oil from Aroma. I've already put all of that and my milk in with my oils and given it a quick buzz. Um, I expect this is going to trace quite quickly. So I shall add my lye water now, which has also got um, Tussa Silk dissolved in there. From what I read, you should add a teaspoon per pound, so about two teaspoons per kilo of oil um, of the clay. But it just looked quite dark with the two teaspoons that I did put in, so I didn't want to add too much. We'll give this a blend. And I added my, um, it's already good, I think. I added my clay before my lye because I thought with the rose fragrance oil this would trace quickly and I wanted to make sure that my clay was properly blended in. I didn't want to have speckles in the soap, so. Very light trace. <clears throat> Don't know if you can see it there, but I can see it on the top there. So I've got tonight my big mould and two small moulds. These are for guest soaps. already going quite thick. Let's see if I can get that out. I did want to pretty the top up a little bit and I don't want it overly thick when I go to do that. That's why I didn't um, want to over blend it. Radio. So 
so I've blended up some um, granular mica with some oil in here. Mm. Same as I did the soap um, earlier today, I'm just going to squeeze that along the top and uh, with my guest ones as well. And then I've got um, rose gold mica. Did the same thing, blended that with um, some olive oil. And I'll squeeze that along the top. my kebab stick again so there's one guest soap done Another one. Um, now the top of this um, long mould, I'm adding some um, rose petals just down one side. Sorry you can't see this end of the mould. I've been looking for a tripod or something to put my phone on so that I can maybe have it a bit higher up so that you can see more, but I haven't found anything yet. I used to have it on a selfie stick and have that propped up there, but the selfie stick um, broke. So yeah, just down one side with these rose petals. little tweezers just to pick up the couple that I got in the wrong spot. Back of the texture just to push them down a little bit so they stick. Oh, 
So my total um, batter with my milk and um, lye solution is 4.3 kilos and I've used two teaspoons of pink Australian clay to that. I'm just going to lift it down. This is the top. So it's quite simple but it looks really pretty. So, and my two guest soaps. And I should come back tomorrow and I'll um, show you what it looks like cut. Yeah, back here to cut my rose clay soap, putting it on its side so I don't drag the rose petals through the soap and make marks in it. So there's the top. Quite plain, but quite pretty. It's going to be rose petals everywhere by the time I finish cutting this. I love the top. So there's not much to see. So I'll just continue cutting it. And I'll put a photo up just after I finished. <laughs> 